While many did heed evacuation orders before Irma came close to the Florida coast, others say the call they got was just it came too late. As Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden explains, a couple of Philadelphia natives are stuck in Cape Coral, waiting out the storm. And there's the canal out back that is rocking and rolling. All of the ominous signs are already here, hours ahead of an actual impact by Irma. For Philly natives Dr. Abby Foreman and Dr. Shelley Comato, now living in Cape Coral, they say the call to evacuate came too late. Shelters were already full by then. We're pretty close to it. Also, we have, like, like Shelley said, we have five pets, so that, that kind of puts a little bit of a damper on us going to a shelter. Plus, they say gas was nowhere to be found. So the decision to stay, it seems, was all but made for them. Our house has all impact windows and we have hurricane shutters in the back. Over FaceTime, they gave us a tour, the swaying mango and avocado trees. When it's not a hurricane, they're avocados. During a hurricane, they're missiles. Wind whipped palm trees, a pool now overfilled, brimming with rainwater. This has been their home for five years. Our neighbors are all here, but we're in zone B, which was the last to evacuate. We expect within the next couple hours, as the wind picks up, we'll lose power. During our conversation, a brief look of fear or perhaps surprise. It seems like it's really rocking and rolling behind you. Yeah, yeah, I got a good squall line coming through. Good timing. Along with their five pets, these two women have not lost their cool or sense of humor. Did I mention their loyalty to the Eagles? Come on, go Eagles. We're still still behind you. This is what we're thinking about in the hurricane. We're worried about the fact that we're going to miss the Eagles game. All kidding aside, they realize this storm has the potential to be deadly. They have a safe place in their house. It is a bathroom with no windows. They plan on going there should it come to that. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Well, Abby and Shelly say the eye wall passed over them this evening. They say other than losing their kayaks, watching their pool overflow, and dealing with the power outage, they are safe, and that is good.